Alrighty, so Hurricane Helene is hitting us. Our bunnies weren't really due till Wednesday, but looking at Chestnut, it looks like she's starting to pull fur or else she's just really shedding. Um, needless to say, I just didn't want to risk it. So I put the nesting box in with her. Um, we don't have any straw because again, we weren't planning on doing this for a little bit longer, but hopefully then she can at least start pulling fur and filling the nesting box with something if she decides to come a little earlier. So Elsa was also looking like she was pulling fur and both of them just seemed really, really restless. So we'll see if they pull fur and give birth or maybe they're just pregnant and shedding. Chestnut, don't eat that. Chestnut. Anna does not show any signs of even being pregnant. So we'll get a nesting box in here with her at least, but I have a feeling she didn't even take. Like she doesn't even, yeah, she just doesn't look pregnant. Hi, Anna. <laughs> So Hurricane Helene is coming through. We got a break in the rain right now, so I'm gonna go out and feed some leftovers to some pigs and check on everyone, see how they're doing. Hey pig! Oh, these guys are not worth for wear. Here you guys are. Oh, they are so happy. Bunnies are doing well despite the hair loss. No one is pulling hair. She's checking it out. There's like no hair pulling. We definitely need to get some straw for them so they can start making a nest. It's on the to-do for today or tomorrow. We're not quite at 30 days. Typically it's 30 to 31 days gestation for bunnies. They were just acting so different and so weird. And so I was like, well, let's get those boxes in because better safe than sorry. So I heard the sheep this morning buying. They were fed. So I think they're down in the um, brush. Just kind of exploring it, eating what they can, grazing. As you can see, we've totally tapped into that dorper nature. Even this area, they've really cleared in, just kind of made a bed underneath that tree for us. Since we've created this new fencing in response to a dog attack, they've been doing really well. So we fared pretty darn well from the hurricane. All we got was about two and a half, three inches of rain. Compared to a lot of areas directly affected by the hurricane, they are either underwater or they have no power and no cell service for potentially a month, which is terrifying. If you could, please say some prayers for them. Um, if you're able to, donate supplies. I know our town is sending over a trailer of supplies over to East Tennessee just to kind of help support that community over there. If you are able to, send water because you know those people, they're going to need water because they don't have, any, all that stuff is probably gone. You don't know where it's at or when they're going to get it back even. Our sheep were up here. I don't see where they're at now, but they were up here. We're in the process of still clearing this area out. We're probably just gonna burn all of this down in a controlled burn. And that'll clear up this whole area from like an open pasture. We can seed it. And we just added to our acre and a half of pasture. Alrighty, so I put some hay into Chestnut's box and she started doing this. So I'm just gonna set the camera up and walk away. And we'll see if she's making a nest or not.
which is very, very exciting. I hadn't seen that before, even though we've raised bunnies, typically we just threw the nesting boxes in. Since they were in the back of our barn, we didn't really get to witness it. Since they're pretty close to our house now, we get to see them in much more, like, more interactive, kind of like they're more day-to-day, -day, see how active they actually are. I really like our setup a lot more for bunnies. Um, our daughters get to feed them more often, so they get a lot more fresh grains. So I really like how we have it going right now. So we're hoping for baby bunnies. I feel pretty confident to say that Chestnut is expecting. Um, she is due in about three days, but we'll see if she comes sooner. The other two I'm not so sure. I don't think Anna's pregnant. I don't know if Elsa's pregnant. Like she kind of made of what resembles a nest, but I don't have a lot of confidence that it's an actual nest or maybe it's just something she threw together. Thank you guys so much for watching um, as we kind of shared an update of what it was like for us kind of going through the hurricane. Again, we got very mild. Our animals fared very well. Uh, we ended up going on bunny watch, <laughs> baby bunny watch. So we hope to um, get some baby bunnies here soon and we'll keep you posted. So hopefully our next video has baby bunnies, but we'll see. Again, if you are able to contribute, whether it's sending water, sending packages to those affected by Hurricane Helene, I'm sure they all would greatly appreciate it. These are our fellow Americans who had a terrible disaster hit them that it's hard to prepare or like even predict that a storm of that magnitude will come through and cause that much damage to a point that you may not be able to recover in any shape of normalcy for about a month. So if you could please, um, very least keep them in your prayers, but if you are able to, um, that would be wonderful. Till next time, y'all. Take care. Bye-bye.